Welcome to Alaska and welcome to the Haunted Road Media Channel. I'm Mike Ricksecker, author and ghost story, and I spent three years here during my time in the Air Force, 1992 and 1995, and I am back. Can't really go into too much as to why I'm here. That'll be divulged uh, later this year, but a uh, very, very cool project. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of a uh, tour around town, go ahead and uh, check out some of the... Uh, uh, well, some haunted sites, and then we're going to do some exploration work as well. So uh, let's get into it. Let's be driving down the Seward Highway toward the mountains. Go get them. All right, well, as you enter the Cougar State Park, Seward Highway is right there, so you get all the traffic sound. We have this cool railroad snowplow. <laughs> That's here. This thing has been here forever. It was here, you know, uh, 20 some odd years ago when I was here before. It's still here now. Ghosty's hanging out with it, you know. Uh, but yeah, they've got it set up here. I mean, this is what they would use to plow the uh, the rail lines here. So, um, you need heavy duty stuff in Alaska, especially with how much snow that they get. It's crazy. Now, you're not going to hear a damn thing I'm saying because it's so windy, but uh, up here washes into a little water, waterfall area down there. Beautiful mountains in the background. Okay, so where we were just at was up there where it was really windy and you probably couldn't hear me. Um, this goes up to a little less snowy of a mountain. You see these trails straight back there. It's head down a little bit. I've never actually been down these trails, but you can see the river. Oh yeah, there's a lot of great stuff to check out around here. It's just right down the road, I mean like, 15 minutes outside of Anchorage, you know, not a big deal. I mean, from where I was at, I was eating dinner at in town, 20 minutes, you know, beautiful. So let's check out what's up the path. I don't know, this might be a paranormal road. All right, now this is beautiful. I don't know if you can hear me because how loud it is. Now, living in Alaska, I lived here for three years. The winters are harsh. You know, I mean, it's extremely, extremely cold. You get a ton of snow. But when you bear through it, and then you can witness stuff like this, this is what makes Alaska worth it, is you know, beautiful scenery like this, the beautiful mountains, you have the creeks like this. This is stuff that makes Alaska what it is. Aside from, of course, all the unusual supernatural stuff and odd occurrences that happen here too. And yeah, I will say this. Well, I've been out here enjoying the beautiful scenery. I do get a sense like I'm being watched. I, like, occasionally it's like I can feel some footsteps behind me or something, and there's like nobody else here. There were some other people that were up there early on, but um, yeah, I just, there's like a sense of being watched and like somebody following you a little bit, so. It has its own little mystique about it, I guess. It's pretty cool. Definitely very cool. Okay, and one of the crazier stories uh, that happened while I was living here in Alaska, this used to be a, a Safeway back here, some sort of education center now. Uh, you see like a strip of stores inside and all that. It's totally different now. Um, a plane taking off from the airport, all of a sudden, the engine, one of its engines just dropped right off the plane. Parts of the wing went flying off in different directions. So some of the apartments over there uh, got nailed with debris from the wing. And then back over here in the back of the, fortunately in the back of the parking lot, nobody was hurt. That's where the engine fell, back there. So that happened in 1993. Crazy stuff. I'm telling you, up here in Alaska, you never know what in the world you're gonna get. Hey there, walking the streets of downtown Anchorage. So, 
I mean, it's it's spring. It's they, they do have you know regular seasons here too. It got a little drizzly, but that's kind of typical for here. So what we're looking for is the historic Anchorage Hotel, which is down the street over here. Uh, very very haunted location. A uh, number of different things have happened there, so we're going to check it out here. All right, so there we go, the historic Anchorage Hotel. Um, Police Chief Jack Sturgis was murdered right out on the street here, uh, just a few steps from the hotel. Uh, so they say that his ghost is still there, uh, haunting it, trying to figure out who his murderer was who shot in the back. Uh, there's also a woman in white that is seen there. She was, uh, she hung herself, and so she is still seen there as well. And a, a little girl who uh, will go from room to room, turning on and off uh, television sets. So uh, quite a few haunts, and it's just a small hotel. All right, up here at the flat top of trail, you can see there's still snow around, so we're gonna be doing a little filming here today, which will be a very, very cool. And uh, yeah, so enjoy and do a little exploring here too. Now this is pretty, look at that, the like sun shower, right? That's awesome. A little bit of a sun shower going on here. This is pretty awesome. Sun shower up a, oh, that's a cool looking path, isn't it? Look at that. You can't get better than that. And all the kids going crazy down there. Insane, absolutely insane. 